Hey there friends on YouTube, it's the JTL. I am back again and today I have a review for you of the brand new-ish Sony MDR-1000X active noise canceling wireless headphones with the Bluetooth. So what are these guys all about? Well, they are a high-end, dare I say, premium headset brand new from Sony. Uh, over the years, Bose has kind of owned the noise canceling market the whole world if you've seen my review on the qc35 you'll know that i thought they were pretty darn okay except for some really difficult and unfortunate problems with bluetooth connectivity uh beats so uh the beats studio have come out they're they're okay but they're not really in the same league as the bose and sony over the past six or so months has released a couple of products which they are definitely clearly trying to take over the top of the heap king of the noise canceling heap uh title from bose so the question is have they done it let's see what the answer is first let's take a quick walk around the headset you have here on the back the only real controls there's a micro usb here You've got 3.5 millimeter here, which you can use these guys as passive headphones without the noise canceling with the 3.5 millimeter jack. You have here a power button, which is nice. You have a noise canceling button, which obviously turns the noise canceling on and off. And then things get interesting with this next button up here, furthest from the bottom, the third button. It's called ambient sound. So you've got ambient sound, which cuts out a bunch of the noise, but lets some in. So if you're walking around or doing any other kind of thing like that, then you can still hear a little bit the cars around you, etc., etc., so that you're safe, which is great. And then if you press it a second time, you get ambient sound voice, which is nice because you can um, cut out everything else except for those mid-range frequencies where most voices occur. So it allows the voice to come in and out. Uh, so without the ambient sound on at all, you get absolutely no sound. I, I was sitting in my office with my back to the door and I had some students come knock on the door and I didn't hear them at all. They had to actually come up and tap me on the shoulder in, in order to let me know that they were there. And I've not tried a set of noise canceling headphones that had that kind of noise canceling. I mean, it was just abs it's absolute silence without ambient sound on. With ambient sound on, you can hear some voices and, you know, when you've got the voice mode on and you can hear cars and other things going on. I find that the ambient sound in general, with the non-voice ambient sound, is a little too much sound if I've got the noise canceling on. So I usually don't use that, but I do use the voice because I got that situation with students. So that's that's really good. It has some other features too. There's... Um, NFC on this side, which helps quite a bit. And here are the microphones. There's one on each side. These are slightly larger microphones than I feel like I've seen on other noise canceling headphones. And then one other feature that's kind of nice, if you have them on and you have the noise canceling going, then you can just cover it like this with your right hand and it will cut everything off, pause the music, and you can talk to somebody and you'll be able to hear them through the microphones. It's a nice touch. It's a nice touch, although still a little bit weird to, to perform that action and talk to people with your headphones still on. However, it's nice that it's there. They are comfortable. Very comfortable, to tell the truth. Uh, very light and very forgiving on the ears. They don't press the glasses temples too much, so that's all good. They have leather on the cups, on each of the cups, and it's a nice feeling leather. Again, I can't say how leathery it, it really is. Nice pad here uh, with a, sort of a foamy texture to it. Uh, the, the adjustments are a little too loose for my liking, but they do work well, and it is easy to adjust. If they get out of position, they're easy to adjust, so that's good. Looks like there are still some, some mic grates here on the inside of the cups. On both sides, uh, I'm sure that Sony's website explains how it all works a little bit better and with a little bit more detail than what I'm giving you right now. But, you know, they got some leatherette plush with memory foam, it feels like, and nice deep pockets for the ear cups. So when you put them on, they are 
my ears are if if touching they're barely touching and they feel good they feel good i've worn these all day and literally all day an eight hour work day just taking them on and off occasionally and they felt great now you can also put them around your around your neck like this pull them down like that and you've got a scarf so that's nice but yeah fit finish all that kind of stuff you know brushed brushed aluminum smoked out brushed aluminum uh, it, it's all really really nice these are quality headphones and they should be because they're 400 400 american dollars which is quite a bit to ask of the average consumer to spend on a set of headphones noise canceling or not 400 dollars is getting up there not many people spend that kind of money but if you're a traveler if you work in a noisy environment if you want the highest quality fit and finish that you can possibly get these guys are not going to disappoint on those fronts let's talk a little bit about now the sound because the sound is really you know half the deal when you get noise canceling headphones and these sound really good to tell you the truth the noise canceling is absolutely soundless there's no hiss there's no sound of it working in any any way shape or form uh some of the bose headsets have uh, when the noise canceling is at work, some of the Bose headsets have caused some pressure, either pressure inward or outward or something on. The Bose QC25, I'm thinking of most specifically when I say that there's some sort of pressure thing that was happening when the noise canceling was active, the QC25 would make my ears feel almost as if the same way that when you get your ears pressurized or depressurized or whatever it is when you're flying in an airplane kind of felt like that they were so uncomfortable because of the noise canceling that i didn't keep them they were just really not working for me the qc35s didn't have that effect but they the qc35s did have problems as as you could see in the video that i post i posted uh back in august i believe or maybe i don't know anyway you could check that video out i'll link it someplace sound wise yes noise canceling completely silent and I will say that of the noise canceling headphones that I've used, and that includes the QC15, the QC25, the QC35, some noise canceling earbuds, a lot, uh, this Beats Studio Wireless, of all those, these guys are absolutely the best noise canceling headphones that I've used. Noise canceling has all the fe has more features than most. It is silent to the point of being ridiculous and you can't hear it working when you're listening to music with these things they sound really really good i've always liked sony headphones uh the sony mdr 7506s are some of my favorite headphones ever in life and i still use them to this day if you've watched some of my videos you will have seen me wearing them i've always had a soft spot for sony headphones and these guys do a nice job with just about everything that i've thrown at it from audiobooks and podcasts to videos to every style of music that you could possibly want to listen to it's done a nice job with everything uh, the there's maybe a little bit of a smiley face curve in the the highs and the bass but the bass is well defined the mid-range sits where it needs to the highs are not shrill in any way they sound great i have more of a taste toward i guess more evenly eq'd headphones from my work as a studio engineer and and recording artist as it were so i like a more a more reference style headphone so i like a more reference style headphone and while these maybe aren't qualifying as reference style headphones they do have a nice sound signature they're not too accentuated and all that kind of good stuff you can't fault them for the style you can't fault them for the functions. You can't really fault them for the sound. Sounding pretty good so far, right? Well, for the most part it is. But as with everything, even those things that strive to be perfect, nothing is always 100% perfect. And so what is it about these that doesn't quite get there? I'll tell you. One nice feature of the Bose QC35 is that they can be connected to multiple i think two maybe three but definitely two different devices at the same time and you just switch back and forth the beats solo 3 wireless while not noise canceling they are bluetooth and they are, and they are wireless 
they allow you to, because of the W1 chip from Apple, they allow you to connect to any device that you have hooked up to your iCloud account just by going to that device, selecting the headphones from the menu and they're, collect they're connected through the cloud. That's really awesome. These guys, unfortunately, if you want to change devices with the Bluetooth, you have to go to the device that you're listening to on currently. And then you have to select the Bluetooth. Then you have to select the, the, the headphone. Then you have to disconnect it. Then you have to go to the next device that you want to connect to and you got to go to Bluetooth, select the headphones and allow them to connect. I usually go back and forth between my phone and then in my office to my computer, then back to my phone, maybe sometimes with my iPad. I go back and forth between at least three devices during the course of a day. And that's a really annoying thing to have to deal with if you have to keep switching in that sort of manual way. Maybe this is something that Sony can fix in the future, but at this point, it is really the only glaring fault of an otherwise absolutely fantastic pair of headphones. If you can get by that, if you're a traveler, if you work in a noisy environment, if you're a student and want to, help, and want to have your ears really blocked out for studying and concentration, anything where you don't want to hear anything, these guys are the deal. You can listen to music, you can just have the noise canceling on. I often sit around just with the headphones on, nothing playing through them, but just, you know, you know, almost like sensory deprivation so I can focus on other things. I'm a writer as well. I can't write without headphones on. I know it's weird, but that's the way it is. That's how I developed my patterns. Anyway, they're great. The Bluetooth connectivity, it's annoying. But other than that, are these worth $400? I, you know, I guess the market dictates that $400 is a lot of money. That one fault isn't necessarily enough to say that they're not worth that. I guess they're worth whatever everybody, whatever anybody is willing to pay. And so in this, in the pantheon of Bluetooth headphones, noise canceling headphones that I reviewed, these guys are now at the top of the heap. Bose, you have been deposed. You have been defeated. You have been dethroned. The Sony NDR1000X are the new best active noise canceling headphones that money can buy as far as anything that I've tested and I've tested quite a few. So congratulations, Sony. Please fix that Bluetooth thing because it's annoying. And Bose, step it up. These guys are doing it. Fit finish, sound, noise canceling, beating your pants off. So anyway, what do you guys think? Have you tried these? What other noise canceling headphones have you tried? Let me know down in the comments and I will answer you and we'll have a discussion virtually. Uh, th anyway, thanks for being here, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review of the Sony MDR-1000X active noise canceling headphones with the Bluetooth from Sony. This is the JTL and until the next time I am out.